So a trade has happened. Basically, Mo Harkless got traded to Oklahoma City the other day for a vet for a move that allowed the Atlanta Hawks to get under the cap. And in response, the Oklahoma City Thunder are like, hey, we want to get under the salary cap. So they trade Derek Favors, Ty Jerome, Mo Harkless, and Teo Maladon in a 2025 second round pick via the Atlanta Hawks to Houston for David Waba, Sterling Brown, Trey Burke, and Marquise Chris. So by doing this deal, this deal allows the Oklahoma City Thunder gain two trade acceptance. This is like a whole cap centric deal, meaning this is all for salary cap, not for players. The Thunder gained two trade exceptions and are going to be able to drop about $10 million under the luxury tax. Rockets get a second round pick for just taking on $1 million in salary. Okay, they were already paying, going to be paying the same amount of money for, you know, Waba, Brown, Burke, and Chris. And instead, they get Maldon, who's young, Jerome, who's young, okay, and then Harkless and Favors, who they could waive for only a million dollars more and they get a second round pick and favors has value as a backup center or even in another trade to another you know contending team okay so this is just a deal that was a win-win for everyone nothing too special okay it's just it's basically them going out there and being like hey we both want to make a deal that makes sense for salary. You get a second round pick uh, and, you know, basically as compensation for taking on said money and, you know, in return, you get a second round pick tail Maldon, who, if you guys know the Houston Rockets are actually lacking in guards. They only like point guards, not guards, but they really only have Ty Ty Washington as their true point guard. They have the Kevin Porter Jr. who's a shooting guard that they're trying to make a point guard, which I like. I like. I think he's showing signs and he's good. So they really only have two point guards now with Taylor Maladon. They have three trade. And then, you know, with Ty Jerome, you have a shooting guard, an undersized shooting guard, but not a bad deal. I think definitely if I said anyone who got the most value in this deal. I I think the I think the Rockets got more value. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. What do you guys think of this little little deal? Was this something you were expecting? And besides that, yeah, so definitely an interesting one. Also, the mixtape I have in the background is a is a tail mount on big tail mount on fan here so that's why it's but yeah i want to hear this is a short room but like did you guys think this was a good a good i really think tail mount on is the only player that i i'm really interested that they got themselves but besides that yeah have a great day guys let me hear your opinions down below on this trade was it did you guys like it it was interesting so yeah oh my god there there's like a fly or something i'm hating it so i tried catching it fuck it bye all right we're about to be to four minutes so let's get it to four minutes because that'll give us a little bit more money in the long run so hey okay. oh these are already eight seconds so we're gonna do that and yeah have a great one guys love you Bye bye